today's topic, we are going to be handling one of my favorite things to talk about, which is all about automation. And before I get started, let me get my screen set up because I thought I was ready to go, but it appears that I am not. So I think I closed some things down. So give me a second and let me get things right back open. But while I'm doing that, let me know in comments where you are watching from and what you are drinking today. So I am watching from Georgia and I am, looks like my uh, stuff is all lost. So let me get that restarted really quick. Um, I had some points I wanted to share with you all today. So I just want to make sure that we do not lose those great points. I love when um, you get everything. I started, I shut everything down on my computer um, and rebooted it right before this because I'm always having problems uh, with my connection and I lost my my points so I always want to make sure that I don't forget anything so let me get them reset I'm sorry about that and then we let me make sure I've got the comments up and going love uh, lives because this is what happens when you go live <laughs> all right perfect I got uh, got everything up and I'm ready to go all right so let me know in comments where you're watching from so you know, this is a great time of year because what we're doing this time of year is we are planning for the upcoming holidays. We've got a lot of things that go on in the fourth quarter of the year. And I don't know about you, but for us, it's a whirlwind. It's really the sort of the 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 mad rush to the end of the year. And we really like to end the year strong and begin the year strong and then everything in the middle. And so automation always comes up. We start to evaluate, at least internally in our business, are there things that one, Sunday's doing too much of, two, I could offload to my team. Are there things that I'm missing and I'm not doing a really good job at responding to clients? I get a lot of in, um, emails in my inbox. I don't know about you guys, but I get a bunch of emails in my inbox every day from suppliers, from clients. And it's a little bit overwhelming to keep track of. So automation becomes a really important thing for me. And we really start to look at that when we're starting to pile on a lot of stuff ending the year and starting to rev up the new year. So what I want to do today is talk about some automation opportunities that you have in your travel business because you, you are a lot like me where you become a little overwhelmed with all the stuff that's showing up in your inbox, all the messages that you're getting, and really learning um, how you can better streamline that process. Let's talk about some opportunities for you, and I'm going to show you inside of Travel Pro Suite where you can leverage those opportunities and really start to streamline the things that are repetitive and common inside of your business. So I'm going to actually share my screen and if you are a part of our Travel Boss community, go to portal.onlinetravelboss.com for uh, actually, yeah, portal.onlinetravelboss.com will get you straight there. Or you can go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash member, and that will get you there as well. Join our online community because the replays for our videos like this are there. And also the resources that I go through inside of any of our trainings are also available inside of that community. Let's let me share my screen and I'm going to share you the resource that is available to you. Um, let's see if I can get this shared. All right, to present. Your screen because I'm going to actually demo some stuff for you guys today. All right. So here are some opportunities that travel advisors can automate. So the first thing, which may or may not be so obvious, is client follow-ups. And this really is personalizing or responding to emails. Now, everybody is familiar with the follow-up, the out-of-office out of follow-up, right? Because actually I get a lot of people's out-of-office follow-ups when we send out emails. So it seems that you guys for sure have that set up with no problem, but wouldn't it be nice to be able to automatically follow up to emails 
based on the types of emails that you're sending. So let's say you're sending a promotion and somebody is replying to that promotion. You can send specific follow-ups for that. So follow-ups really reminders that you want your clients to do inside of Travel Pro Suite. When it comes to our client booking follow-up game, we have an entire suite of emails that we follow up with your clients for once they do a booking. And so client follow-ups for standard processes or things that you do repetitively that you need to remind your clients for are a great thing for you to automate. It's one less thing that you have to remember, check your inbox to see if somebody got it. So uh, types of follow-ups that we do or anything after purchase. So anytime somebody purchases something, we do a follow-up. Anytime there is an event that we want someone to attend, we send out reminders for that. Um, we send out replays. We send out um, subsequent um, emails that go out, let's say a couple of days or maybe a week after a particular event. So client follow-up, you ever heard the saying, the money's in the follow-up? follow up with your clients after specific events and automatically schedule those things are great things for you to get off of your list of things to do. Appointment scheduling, if you guys are doing discovery calls and you are um, meeting with your clients to discuss their trips, scheduling those, making your a calendar available to people so that they can schedule, just all it really means is that you need to carve out some time in your week that you will be available for booking appointments. And this is a really great way to always have somebody go to a link. So for example, if you'd like us to do a demo with this, we do demos on Monday. So you can go to online travel boss forward slash dot com forward slash demo, and we can schedule a demo of our system, right? So appointment scheduling is a really good thing for you to automate. Do not do not be haggling with people via text or whatever to schedule an appointment, unless, of course, it's a, a just-in-time appointment. But automate any of your regular appointments, so your design calls, any of your planning sessions, any of your, like, we normally, typically, when we're doing a group trip, we schedule a um a meet and greet, a virtual meet and greet. If I didn't want to actually do that in person and I wanted people to schedule into that meet and greet, I could automate that process as well. Booking confirmation. So confirmations that confirm that you've actually done the booking, that should be a part of your workflow. All you should need to have to do is update a field and then an email automatically go out. That functionality is available inside of Travel Pro Suite. But booking confirmation should be something that you can automate. It's repetitive. You always want to send out probably a pretty standard message once you've confirmed the booking with the supplier. Invoicing and payment reminders, absolutely something that should be automated. Pretty much any, um, any all of your processors should have the ability to send out an automatic receipt and then some sort of reminder um, in terms of when upcoming payments are due. We treat our payment plans as subscriptions. That's a, we primarily allow our advisors who use our software to use Stripe, NMI or um, Authorize.net. We also are coming up with in um, late October, which is this month, November, we're going to be coming up with an OTB payment processor. We'll be making some more announcements about that. But payment reminders should be pretty standard and something automatic in your business. If you are sending an invoice, an automatic receipt and any recurring payments should be automatic. You know, one of the biggest things that we talk about really in our Opus model is really the fifth step, which is really your reputation and your results. So there should be after every trip that you do some sort of post trip thank you email that goes out soliciting feedback either or doing a survey or actually asking them to do a review on your business page or your Facebook page. Both of those are something that you should automate. Lead nurturing. So if you get somebody who downloads your guide or downloads a free offer that you have, I call it a stranger offer, there should be some automatic emails that go out to nurture them into your next step. If that's either a purchase or a booking call, a design call, there should be some sort of nurturing sequence that goes along with that. 
social media scheduling. Literally, I don't know if you guys are on multiple platforms. We're on multiple platforms ourselves. And so automating the scheduling of those posts, frankly, you know, to be um, omnipresent requires a lot of work. And so it could be ultimately a full-time job if you don't have a way to schedule your posts. And so inside of Travel Pro Suite, we do have a scheduling feature that allows you to do that. We won't be showing all of these features in today's training. I'm really going to focus on automating your emails and really diving into that in this training. But you can automate your scheduling. This should be something that you do. You do your content plan. If you're utilizing our, our um, AI tool that we created, we created a really robust prompt called Social Flow that allows you to create your content that's going to be tailored to your audience. Once you have that content, you got to get it scheduled. So why not automate the scheduling of that content so you don't have to remember you can create the content, create and release. And then marketing campaigns. We are about to get go through the biggest spending um, month of the year, which is November during Black Friday. And so you should be a part of that mix. How are you going to schedule out your promotional campaigns, your emails, your um, all about the deals that you have, right? And along with that should be your social media scheduling too. And then the last thing is task management. I don't actually think I've shown you guys that um, how our system does task management. So I'm actually going to utilize um, um, in this demo section, I'm going to actually show you how you can set up tasks and automate the task scheduling or creation process in your business through creating automation. So with that, let me show you exactly how to do that. So inside of Travel Pro Suite, I'm in the demo account and I'm in the automation section. You know, when you get our software, the first thing that you get are, are five steps and you get the done for you automations that we've done. You don't really need to do much with those automations. Those things are going to do what they do. But if you ever want to create your own set of automations, let's say you'd like to you have a special set of tasks that you create. Um, on different events that occur in your business. And so let's uh, create, I'm actually just going to do this on the fly, just to kind of show you what you can do. We're going to create an automation and we're going to actually create one from scratch. And so in this automation, what I tell you guys before you ever start doing an automation is one, you should plan it, plan what you want to do. I always like to plan it on paper. So I get a piece of paper. I get, um, I like a notebook that's blank. Um, I actually, I like a notebook that doesn't even have lines. So I use a, a drafters. I'm looking at my notebook right now. So it's a blank sheet of paper, no lines. So I can doodle and I can do all this. And so when I get ready to plan a automation, I think about what the steps are and I get a blank sheet of paper and I think about what step one, two, three, four, five, and six. So in this scenario, I didn't, I didn't put together a pre-plan for this conversation. I just wanted to show you the different things and actions that you can do inside of the system when it comes to doing an automation. So let's say for the, the purpose of this test, what I want to do is I want to create an automatic task for myself that lets me know that I need to schedule or I need to actually, I mean, this is kind of a goofy example, but I just want to show you the power of what you can do is, you know, after somebody sends me a travel request and it's approved, right, we're approved to move to the next board. I'd like to have a task that sends me a text message to let me know that I need to contact the supplier and confirm the booking. Let's just do something very simple like that. So when it comes to doing automations, I always say start from top to bottom, work your way from the top and go down. First thing is, is we're going to name this automation and we're going to call this a test task setup, just so I know to delete this later, right? And the first thing that you're going to see here is the add new trigger. And this, this is really what is the event that's going to occur that's going to actually get the person into this automation? How will a contact get into the automation based on what event? What is the action that's going to happen? Now, we've got a whole lot of different workflow triggers that you can use inside of the system. You can set up a, a workflow for birthday reminders. When some information about a contact changes, 
when the contact is created. So if there are automations that you want to kick off the minute somebody enters your email list, that is something that you can do as well. Contact change, a custom date reminder. If you if a note has been added, so let's say you add a note to a contact worker, you can create an automation around that. A task is added, a task reminder. So these again are all triggers. The trigger that we talked about just now is, is I want the trigger when an opportunity changes, an opportunity stage change. So I'm gonna do here when a opportunity pipeline stage change. And I'm gonna actually here pick the pipeline. And so here I'm going to, it's in this pipeline. And I happen to know that the way that our workflow is, is that when somebody has approved a travel request, that's going to be in our travel request pipeline. And I'm going to want the stage to be um, when the stage has changed. And I want the stage has changed to design fee. That means that the person has um, paid, you know, we've sent out the design record and or the design fee invoice, and now we're ready to actually go. So that's gonna be the trigger here. I like to name all of my steps inside of my workflow so that I don't have to go into the step and figure out what I did here. So I'm gonna say when opportunity, when um, design fee, set to design fee. Then I'm going to save the trigger. And then all that I want to do in this next step is, is I want to assign a task to myself. I actually want to want to send a text message. I don't even want to assign a task. You can create a task, but we're going to do two things. I'm going to create a task and I'm actually going to send a text message to myself. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to create. So this plus sign, let me just not do that so quickly. This plus sign are then going to bring up all the different actions that are available to you as a travel advisor that could happen. And so what I want to do is I want to actually, I want to send a text message. So I'm going to do SMS. So I'm going to send an SMS. I'm actually going to change that to an internal message because we're not going to send an SMS to the contact. We're going to actually send an SMS and it's called an internal notification here, send the internal notification, and then I'm going to send that as an SMS. So internal notifications are notifications to staff members on inside of your business. So we would want to send an SMS, a general SMS, because then it'll send an SMS to the, the, the client or the contact that enters into this automation. So we're going to send an internal notification. We're going to send an SMS and we're going to send it to the assigned user. And then here you have the ability to create templates. And I recommend if this is going to be something that you regularly are going to be sending to yourself or to your team, create a template for yourself. So then all you have to do is select the template and you don't have to type out the message. But in this situation, I don't have a template. So what I'm going to do is just say, hi, you know, new uh, client has entered design stage. Uh, remember to send to set up supplier trip and get confirmation. All right. And then just going to say, so the great thing is, is like if you have a, VA and your VA is responsible for doing a task. Maybe when a new client joins, right? Maybe you send them a gift or a welcome package or something like that. You can set up a reminder, uh, an actual send a text to your VA, a text to yourself, anyone on your team. You can also then send a task. So I'm going to actually save this action. And then again, remember, I like to name all my actions. So I uh, call internal notifications. I am to uh, assigned as reminder. And th this, the name can be whatever name that you want. But again, I just like to name all of my actions so that when I see them in the example, I know exactly what it is. So I don't have to go in and see what I was thinking. And so now I sent an internal message to the assigned user. And now I'm also going to do is create a task. So I'm going to add a new task 
here and I'm going to uh, book with supplier. Then I'm going to also assign that. And so here you see these are all the assigned people to the um, who are on my team. But I'm just going to do it to the assigned assigned uh, user. And so here this allows you to schedule out the task up to five days from the time that the person enters into the workflow. So I want this to be no later than three days. So once it changes to that particular stage, three days, the task needs to get done within three days. This will let that person know. And so here I'm going to change the task name, add task book with supplier, and then save that action. And that's all I'm going to do here. Always remember to publish and save your workflows as you do them. And then now you've got this workflow that's complete. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to explain these other areas just so you can know. So when you are creating a workflow or an automation, you always want to test it and make sure that it's doing what you want it to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to duplicate the screen so I can keep this up and come back to it and show you guys. Tasks are a really good, particularly if you have a very specific workflow that you would like to implement in your travel business, setting up these tasks that automatically get created are really a good way for you to set it up and be done with it. So here I've got these sort of test records here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this test record into the design fee stage. And what should happen is I'm going to go now. This is already published. I'm going to go to en enrollment history and we're going to see that this executed. So enrollment history will show you when somebody actually enters into the automation. So now I can see that this happened. I'm also going to check to see what it looks like on the front end. So we can see there's nothing here. We can also see that this, and then if you want to see it's also finished, you can also check here on the history and you can see all, all of what happened with that person. So now I'm gonna actually go into the contacts record by clicking on the name. And what this is going to do, it's going to show you the history of the actions that happened with this person. So this is me um, here. And then you can tell that. Um, let's make sure. Let's see what happened. I always love to see. So an internal notification was sent here. And then I don't you know what I'm in the test um, account. And I don't think we have text messages set up here. But what we can do is we can take a look and see here what tasks have been assigned to the person. So here, this uh, task, let's see if there's an assigned person to me. I'm the assigned person. <laughs> so now we should have a book a supplier task right here. So you can click on that task and associate with this contact record is this task and it's been assigned to myself. So that's already done. I don't have to worry about trying to remember to create the task. It's already done and now it's available. So now it shows up in the task associated with this contact. If I go to the task list here, you also see that it shows up in this task list. It also has a due date of the 17th and it's now in our um we have a mobile app and on the mobile app for when i log in as the user of the account it'll show that i have a task that's outstanding so what's great about automation is you design your process once you implement it and then you forget about it and it does what it needs to do so when you're thinking about the things that you could do on autopilot automation is the way to do that. So what I want to do is just um, let you know what's included in this checklist. So if you go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash members, you'll get access to our Travel Boss community. And inside of that community, and let me just show you what that community looks like. 
So when you log into that community, you're going to get here and inside of that community, what you're going to see is our latest training. These trainings are always going to be available uh, starting today for sure in this channel. So if you ever want to see the history, you can see the history of all of the trainings that we do. We show up two days a week for you all showing you all different tasks and tips and tricks to help streamline the way that you operate your business. And then when you click on this particular um, announcement, you'll see the video and then you also see the download. So when you click on the download, it's going to actually take you to where you can get the checklist. And this is where that checklist lives. So join us inside of that community. But let me just talk to you a little bit about what's in this checklist. What I've done here is I've given you a couple of steps that you want to take um, into account. And so the first step is, is that you want to identify repetitive tasks, choose your automation tools. We would hope that you would choose a travel pro suite um, as your automation tools. And then you want to set up that workflow. Again, my best recommendation is to set the workflow up, define it on paper, and then implement it in the tool. It's very frustrating sometimes because tools are just as good as your internet connection. So if your internet goes down, you didn't save it, then you don't remember what you were thinking. So I always like to design it on paper first and then implement. And then you always want to test and optimize the workflow. Just like we ran through that, we set it up, we tested it, and made sure it worked. What you want to make sure too is, is as you build these custom workflows for yourself and your business is always make sure that the process is working and that it's delivering the result. Is it actually doing what you want it to do? If you're finding that you're still having to talk to your VA or you're actually having to do, you're, you're still having to check your email to remember something, it's probably time for you to take make a modification to the workflow and improve the automation. Maybe we only did one task. Maybe there's some additional tasks that you're doing add them to the automation. So really the spirit of this training is we are in a frenzy. You know, you are probably going to be traveling. You're going to be promoting your business. You're going to be enjoying your friends and family. Automate as much of your business as you possibly can. Things that I didn't put on the list that are great candidates for you to automate are your holiday um, announcements. So like we do all of our annual holiday um, recognition and promotion, social media scheduling and emails, all of that's done in the month of September, October, and we schedule it for the year. So I don't really need to worry about fourth quarter because it's already done. We scheduled it last year. So this is a great time for you to schedule those emails that are holiday of nature, right? Wishing people a Merry Christmas, a Happy Thanksgiving, a, you know, Happy Kwanzaa, whatever it is that you celebrate, schedule and forget, create, release and forget and that's all you have to do. So automation is the name of the game so that you can fully enjoy this holiday season. Let me know if you have any questions in comments. I recommend if you um, have anything, go inside of our community, tag my name um, inside of the community that actually sends me an email and I know what to post. Listen, if you would like to have a demo of Travel Pro Suite, do not hesitate to schedule your demo call at onlinetravelboss.com forward slash demo. And I will see you next week in our next automation um, uh, operational training that we do every Monday. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.